Arsenal offer £60 million for Real Madrid's Brahim Diaz. In the 2021 winter transfer window, the Gunners took a chance on Odegaard, whose talent was well documented, but he failed to break into the Real Madrid squad. Mikel Arteta needed a playmaker to unlock the potential of his attack and he believes the Norwegian midfielder could be the one. After six months with the Real Madrid player, the Arsenal coach was confident that he was the star his project required and Arsenal signed him permanently. Fast forward, we can't stop marvelling at how incredible Odegaard, who eventually became team captain, has been. Arsenal's number 8 delivered, and if there was a chance to replicate his transfer, I believe Arsenal wouldn't let it pass him by. A chance came in the form of Brahim Diaz. The 24-year-old, who recently pledged allegiance to Morocco, is in a similar situation to Odegaard. Yes, he is brilliant and that cannot be disputed. However, he is unable to secure a place in the Real Madrid squad. Players like Jude Bellingham, Federico Valverde and Vinicius Jr. are ahead of him in the pecking order. So far this season, he has made 32 appearances, 17 as a starter, scoring 8 goals and 4 assists, but as a player looking to establish himself as one of the best, he deserves to play more regularly. It could be argued that if he continues to work hard he will be rewarded, but according to football transfers, with Kylian Mbappe joining Real Madrid his playing time could be further reduced. Diaz could consider leaving the Santiago Bernabeu, and El Nacional reports that Arsenal are interested in bringing him to North London. According to the report, the Gunners have made an offer of £60 million, a price Real Madrid may consider reasonable to sanction the deal. Diaz came through the Manchester City system while Mikel Arteta was an assistant, so the Arsenal manager must know him well. As good as he was, Arsenal could be open to another attacking midfielder to play alongside Martin Odegaard. Kai Havertz has particularly impressed in attack, so the Gunners are on the lookout for another midfielder. Odegaard could retain his number 8 role on the right side, while Brahim Diaz, if signed, would play as a number 8 on the left side. This could be exciting and with an onslaught of forwards, Arsenal's attack could be the real deal next season. That's sure. And now Arsenal fan, I want to hear from you. What is your opinion about this? Put your opinion in the comments, I don't know if you know, but your opinion is very important for Arsenal I'll be back with another news from Arsenal at any moment.